So here we are guys, um, finally the, the bird that we won in the auction a couple of nights ago um, has actually arrived today. Your aver is quite big. Yes. And it's got a partition as well, you know. Yeah, why well, I made the aver is that big. When they come from a race, yeah. the young birds, if, you, if they come quite a few together, yeah. they can all land on the, oh. it's all right, they can all land on the landing board at the same time. And this is your trapping. This is where they trap, this is where you trap them. Yeah, yeah. ETS goes there. Yeah. You still got food in there. <laughs> you still got some food in there. Oh my goodness, look at that. Those ones on the top, is that to prevent them landing on the roof and just land straight yeah, onto the platform? It, it doesn't actually. Don't yeah. work. No, what, what I did was that I put some uh, string mesh from, yeah. from that to the back so they couldn't actually land. If they landed on it, they bounce. And they bounce. They Do you have problems with the, cat? The yeah. The trouble is if they land on that, if, I mean, they, they don't. Once, once you've sort of got them trained, they land on the board, they aren't interested in going on the roof. Yeah. But if ever you get them landing on the roof, they've got to get back over that to, to go in the shed. You lose, yeah. you lose time, you know. Yes, this is what we picked up today from the guy who were just retired from racing pigeons uh, due to health reasons. It's, it's such a shame because he's um, one of the top racers in the Midlands. Um, yeah, so um, we bought this from him. Three... Uh, Three training boxes, it's in really good condition as you can see, look at that, nice and clean, it's got some grates in it, so it's fantastic, it's all sliding, um, there we go, so it's three of that, it's good for at least about 15 pigeons each, and uh, on top of that he's giving us this, fantastic feeder, good for quite a lot of pigeons, and um, yeah we're going to put it in the shed now, we're not going to get it wet, which is quite good so when it comes to the training so we've got all the the gear that we need but yes i'm so happy today it's just like christmas came four weeks earlier for me today and uh, we've got those three training boxes from the guy in the midlands so we bought really really cheap it's a really good price plus he gave us a feeder and as you can probably see now we have got this hen um, this hen is actually something that we won from the auction the other day and um it is a grizzle and it's a it's got it's a roland jansen bloodline and all the pedigree is going to be here in an envelope there so let's go and have a look and open the box up it's just been delivered today luckily we got home uh bang on time it is such a beautiful bird look at that guys um we don't really have this kind of color in the loft at the moment apart from the the grizzle that we have there and um, as you can see, it's based on Roland Jansen's bloodline. Uh, we won this in the auction uh, a couple of nights ago. Finally, the, the bird that we won in the auction a couple of nights ago um, has actually arrived today. And uh, perfect timing, actually, that um, I just got home and I saw a van outside the house and bingo. There you are. It looks quite good. All right, it's based on uh, Roland Jansen's bloodline. It's a hen, so the reason why I, uh, I was kind of interested in this is I, I like the color. I think it'll, um, it'll blend well uh, inside our loft. And then also I've got a cock, um, a speed bird that I can pair it with, so it's going to be really good. And uh, hopefully um, they'll uh, produce some uh, reasonably decent birds for us in the future, especially this coming uh, 2022 Young Birds Race. Uh, this specific bird is a 2019 uh, bred. Uh, it's got that yellow ring, the 2019 um, um, ring, uh, RPR rate ring, and uh, it's looking brilliant. We're back inside the breeding section now, uh, just to do a quick, quick check. Um, as you can see, all the birds are paired up nicely. There you go, as you can see them. Brilliant. So what we're going to do is we're going to introduce the uh, the straw, just to. Uh, <clears throat> for the nest, I'm sure you can see this one here. There we go, the John, uh, well, Roland Johnson line. So we have here, you remember that bird, the young bird? There we go, with the uh, ETS rings, 
It's the one we raced last season and we're pairing it to uh, to its dad. So we're going to do a bit of inbreed there, sitting on the nest at the moment. So we're going to encourage it a little bit more with a straw. Um, the Roland Johnson we just bought off the auction. We're going to place it just there for now under isolation on its own. And it's going to be uh, there for about the next uh, couple of weeks. And, um, and then we're going to pair it with um, one of our birds, which I will show you next time in the next video. Put the straw in the, um, the breeding boxes now just to encourage them a little bit more. And uh, we're not rushing into uh, breeding anyway. So we pair them up now, first week of December. And um, what we're not hoping for... Um, <clears throat> Uh, eggs until about third week possibly second week third week of, uh, of December so that will hatch uh, at some point in uh, January uh, so we can ring them so it's just the right time uh, for us anyway based on our schedule and uh, so yeah hopefully that will help there you go guys can you see our abandoned pup getting on with it no sorry I do apologize it actually is the hen just getting on with it the cock is actually here there we go, that's the Van Loon cock, uh, paired up to, uh, to this Van Loon hen. Well, the bloodline of the hen, which is actually in the nest ball at the moment, uh, the parents uh, <clears throat> are Gabby Van de Nibili and the Van Loon. So it's cross between the two. Uh, I believe this one though on the left side, which is the cock, is the pure Van Loon bloodline. Uh, according to the gentleman we got this from so yeah let them crack on with it and um, he's the start of the breeding season we're on to the young birds now and the yearlings there we go so uh, what a mess in there at the moment you can see the difference from last weekend um, it's almost nearly a week so uh, <laughs> a day to go it's not so bad at all to be honest we're gonna be cleaning this anyway at some point maybe Sunday or maybe tomorrow so we're gonna feed them now. Come on! Whoa! Check that out, look at that. We've got the long feeder in there at the moment, so we're not gonna use that until uh, this weekend. So uh, it's just, I can't be asked to go back into the house and come back here again. So once I've fed them today, then that'll be it for the day. So <laughs> we'll change that next time. This will do, this will have to do for today. Pretty hungry, huh? Looking good so far. Let's give them a bit more. So the next section there, so we're going to be going there at some point and feed them as well now. And there you are. So we're going to stay here for a few more minutes, um, just doing some observation, making sure all the birds are okay. And as you can see, they're all healthy, responsive, eating well, drinking well, moving about. No birds in the corner. So there we go. So after this, we're going to go and move on to the next uh, section and feed them as well. Fantastic stuff, look at that, hey, feeding time. It's really, really good. It's one of, <laughs> one of the most enjoyable uh, time in the loft is when you, uh, when you start feeding them, especially when they're hungry, look at that. Brilliant, huh? Hey, you've run out of space. Gotta wait for your turn now. Well, like I said, guys, uh, just tomorrow, we're gonna introduce the longer feeder. We have got it inside the house anyway, it's just, I uh, can't be asked today. Um, it'll have to do for now. I'm 